Hey everyone. So AI has become an extensive part of our life, influencing how we work and interact with technology. Being a coder, it is nearly impossible to overlook its impact. First of all, I would like to clear one point that AI is not developed to replace programmers. AI is your friend and you need to use this friend for your work. For example, I have one class with the main method and here I have one simple array. I want to iterate this array and print its elements one by one. So for this, I'm going to use simple for loop where I will use a variable i which will initiate with zero and it will iterate till my length is reached. But here I'm going to use less than equal to and then let's increment it and I'm going to simply log the element array of i. So we don't see any compilation error. If I run this program on the console, we can see it has printed all the elements but later it gave you some exception called array index out of bound exception and it's saying that index 5 out of bounds for length 5. So most of you already caught the issue here which I did on purpose. We know that index starts with 0 and basically we need to iterate till the last element of array whose index will be length minus 1. So I should not use this equal to here. So this is a very small code and we can quickly run this program and fix the error based on console output. While writing these codes, anyone can make mistakes. They can overlook on some logics. If you have someone which is continuously looking at your code and help you to find the problem or defects in your code and that friend can be AI. Let's take another example. Suppose you want to generate some random number between two boundaries. For example, generate a random number between 1 and 100. So no one remembers all the logic. So probably you will go to Google and look for the code. But if there is any way where you can simply type I want this code which can generate a random number within a range and automatically a code can be generated which you can directly put in your code base. It will be much easier. It will save time. So literally we can use AI in many scenarios and when you start using it then only you can feel the experience. So in this video tutorial, I am going to integrate a third party AI plugin called Codebase with IntelliJ IDEA. In future, there might be many third party AI tools which can be easily integrated with IDE. But my purpose here is just to introduce you with some AI plugins and how to use them. I cannot cover each and every scenario, but you need to start using it so that automatically you'll get to know in how many scenarios AI is helping you. So let's get it started. So we have one AI plugin called Code GPT, your all-in-one AI co-pilot for JetBrains. So now what is JetBrains? So you must have used WaveStorm or IntelliJ IDEA. Those tools are provided by JetBrains. If you go to official website of JetBrains, it says it provides a rich suite of tools for exceptional developer experience like IntelliJ IDEA which is majorly for Java and Kotlin, WaveStorm which is majorly for JavaScript and we have some other tools as well. With JetBrains also provides their AI tool called JetBrains AI which is more deeply integrated and compatible with all the versions of your IDE. If there is any change in your IDE then JetBrains AI will be updated as well. But the downside of this plugin is that it is paid. So in many organizations, whoever is using ultimate version of IntelliJ IDEA, they might be getting this plugin. But if you are using community version, then we can use any third party AI tools like CodeGPT. So let's focus on CodeGPT more in this video. So here they gave one introductory video which is very good. You can watch this video and understand how this plugin can help you in writing code. So with this plugin, we can use any market leading LLMs or you can use some privately hosted model as well. So if you want, you can read this page here because it contains a lot of information. I'm going to show you some practical where this plugin will be helpful. So to integrate any plugin with IntelliJ IDEA, the process is same. You need to click on this icon, then go to settings and here we have option called plugin go to marketplace tab and type code gpt so this is the correct plugin click on install so now you can see this plugin has been installed you can click on apply then ok so after installing the plugin right hand side you will see one icon which shows code gpt 
and if you click on it, it is CMatch available similar to ChatGPT. If you want to configure your API key, then you can click on Code GPT settings, and here you can provide the API key. You can change your GPT model as well, and you can basically configure which cloud provider you want to use. But if you want to use everything in free, then you need to use only free models. But if you have paid one, you can enter your API key and use it. Anyway, let's use with the default setting. I'm going to click on cancel. Now let's see how this code GPT might help us. So let me repeat the same mistake here and I'm going to select these lines of code. Then you can see some options here. One icon we can see code GPT which says edit code and then we have plus sign which says include selection in prompt. That means if you click on this plus sign, these codes will be added to prompt. Let's click on plus sign. Now you can see it shows the class name dot java and from 6 to 9 line numbers and let's ask find bug in this code hit enter so now it is generating some thing let's see so we had asked this question and you can see it is showing the code as well now it is trying to explain what is happening in these lines like we are initializing an integer array with these values start a for loop with an index i which is initialized to 0. Now set the loop condition to continue while i is less than the length of the array. Inside the loop, print the value of array of i, increment i by 1 in each iteration. Then they are giving bug explanation like it says the bug in this code is in the loop condition. The condition i less than equal to array dot length should be i less than array dot length because array indices start at 0 and go up to array dot length minus 1. Using less than equal to will cause an array index out of bound exception when i equals array dot length and then it is showing you the corrected code as well. Here you can see it has removed the equal to sign. Now it gives you some option to apply this code. You see one icon here which is auto apply. If you click on it, it says your auto apply quota has been exceeded. Please upgrade your plan to continue. So basically, when you click on this apply icon, it will show you the window where it will show how the code will be changed after accepting the change. Since I was exploring this plugin before making the video, so my free quota has been exceeded. And here we have another icon called insert at caret. If your cursor is here and if you select this option, then code will be added at your cursor. You can do this as well or you can simply copy the code and paste it here or you can make the changes by looking at corrected code. So whatever way you want to use, you can use it. So let me simply make the change. So this is one example how AI can help you to find the bugs and fix it. Now let's see how code GPT can help you to generate some codes. So I want to reverse a string and for that I'm going to create one utility method. So let me use public void. You can see it is giving you some suggestions as well. But let me give my method name, maybe reverse string. And I'm going to take one string input. Automatically, you can see some codes are coming like a string builder reverse equal to new string builder. So all these are coming from your code GPT plugin. And if you mouse over, it says press tab to complete. That means if you press the tab, these lines will be added. Anyway, I'm making one mistake here because I should create this method outside of main method. So let me control X and paste it here. So let me remove this line. Now I'm going to select this method. Then select this edit code this time. It will open a prompt. And here I'm going to write write code to reverse string and click on submit. Let's move this window to the right. And here you can see automatically code has been written. So you need to review this code. And if you think this is fine, then you can click on accept suggestion. So this code will be added. Or you can directly ask here as well. Give me code to reverse string. So like chat GPT, it has given the solution. Now you can copy paste the code. So you must be thinking one point that I'm giving the prompt like write a code to reverse a string. But I haven't mentioned in which programming language, Java, Python, JavaScript or what. But your code GPT will automatically analyze what libraries, pattern or programming language you are using. For example, if you are using Selenium WebDriver or Spring Boot in your project, then automatically it will generate the code considering those libraries. So basically this AI plugin can help you to generate some auto code completion and suggestions. It can 
analyze your code for error detection and it can fix as well which will improve quality of your code it can generate code snippets which i have already shown you and also you can ask code gb to explain the code for example then you can select this method and click on this plus sign now you can ask explain this code and if you see the console you can see it has explained you each and everything so the only thing you need to keep in mind that you need to ask clear question let's see one more example i have given some random name here for this method which is not meaningful let's try to rename this method using code gpt so let's right click on this method name click on rename then you can see automatically many suggestions are coming like reverse string print reversed input and others you can see the code gpt symbol that means these suggestions are coming from code gpt and whatever name you want to give you can simply select it so basically you can use code gpt in many scenarios for example you have written some repeated code in many places then you can select those codes and give the prompt like create a usual method and replace everywhere and code gpt will do for you in no time with the help of ai plugins like code gpt will improve your code quality and also save time so that you can focus more on writing business logic so that's all in this video if you like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone